Hey guys, what is up? Welcome to another episode of uh, Product Talk and in this uh, video, let's talk about the Usha Immersion Heater. Well, this is how the heater is supposed to look like when it is uh, brand new. I've been using this product for about uh, a couple of months now and uh, very recently I cleaned off uh, or rather I removed the scaling from the heater and I have it right here. Uh, but first, let me go ahead and uh, show you what this uh, product is uh, all about. It's used to heat your water. And uh, this is the specification list of this immersion heater, which is called, uh, or rather given the name, IH2410. It's marketed by Usha International Limited. Uh, you can uh, pause the video to take a look at the customer care cell information this is a thousand watt heater as you can see and it is priced at 590 rupees although you shouldn't be spending 590 because it's always and always available at a discount even at your local uh, store electric store uh, that sells uh, wires cables or whatnot on this side you can see that uh, this product uh, has a lot of uh, unique features as they say copper tube element with long lasting nickel plating for longer element life this is what is uh, what they call as element it has a neon indicator for power on it has a two year warranty uh, it has a metal hook for safe operation it has a big light cover ensuring complete protection against electric uh, shock Again, the wattage is mentioned as 1000 watts. If you are in India, well, this is uh, the perfect uh, voltage. Uh, they also offer uh, Verve. I don't know what Verve is. Verve is probably their water purification thingy. I'm not sure. They have a heat convector. They have a food processor. And Usha also makes e-pressure cookers. Well, that's uh, all the information I have about this uh, product when we look at the box. Uh, but let's take a look at the product itself. Uh, just yesterday, I cleaned off all the scales and this is how the heater is going to look like after a couple of months of uh, usage. Now, uh, this is the indicator light that glows when you plug this in. This is the metal hook. And obviously, this flimsy uh, metal thing that, you know, is usually placed here uh, broke off it's very flimsy breaks off very easily and it really doesn't uh, uh, do any uh, good to the heater apart from showing you what is the uh, water level to which you can uh, dip this heater into well uh, once you take a look at the plug you will know that it is uh, kind of small because this is a thousand watt heater this is a thousand watt heater which means the plug that you see here is a six ampere plug very quickly I'm going to show you a heater that is 1500 watts now this is a heater uh, the scales of which I cleaned yesterday and this is how uh, it looks like it's almost about two years since I've been using this heater I believe I made a video about this it should be available on uh, product talk the channel on YouTube so uh, this is a 1500 watt heater now size wise uh, this heater is a little heavier and a little it has an extra uh, coil here so apart from that uh, everything is the same except that this is a 1500 watt uh, heater if you can see here uh, it says 1.5 K watt I'm going to show you the plug of this heater and this is how it looks like a 1500 watt heater comes with a 16 amp plug and this is a 6 ampere plug so this is how uh, the plugs are going to be different from each other this is something that most people won't pay any attention they'll go ahead and buy a 15 watt heater uh, then realize that uh, they don't have uh, as big a socket as uh, it requires. So they end up buying a bigger uh, plug, a heater with a bigger plug, when all they have is an option to 
use a 6 ampere plug. So what's the difference uh, between the two, the 1500 watt versus the 1000 watt? Your 1000 watt comes with a smaller plug, uh, plugs into almost any electric uh, outlet and you can start heating your water but the 1500 watt uh, requires a 16 ampere plug. Uh, this 1500 watt also heats uh, water quicker so if you have more people in the family using uh, the water heater uh, within a specified time during the day like say in the morning before going to work or school you want the water to be heating up really fast then 1500 watt uh, heater is what you should go with it doesn't come with an indicator light though it doesn't really matter uh, but the 1000 watt uh, heats up the water comparatively slow uh, than uh, the 1500 watt the 1000 watt is not uh, that fast but it still does the job of a thousand watt heater if you want to eliminate all of these uh, heaters the best thing is to opt for a geezer a review of which will be coming soon so uh, this is about it uh, my talk on heaters both the 1500 watt and the thousand watt uh, more importantly this is how the usha immersion heater is going to look like you're going to be uh, finding a lot of other products in the market like uh, Crompton um, there are other uh, brands also but basically they fall within the category of 1500 watts and a thousand watt if you go with a thousand watt then you know what kind of a uh, plug size you should be expecting if you go with a 15 watt heater you should know what kind of a plug size you should be expecting well that's about it thank you for watching this video on product talk uh, Make sure you tune into more videos on Product Talk and also follow Product Talk on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. The IDs are at Product Talk now. Thank you very much for even subscribing to this channel on YouTube. I usually don't ask you to subscribe, but you do. So thank you for that. And uh, hopefully uh, that just shows me that you guys are really interested in watching uh, more uh, videos on products. I'd like to keep this video uh, short and simple. This video is getting a little longer. I don't like it. Uh, but thank you for bearing with me. Uh, I hope you got all of the information that you wanted. Uh, I've used this for two years uh, plus and this for about a few months and probably a year. I don't remember exactly, but this is what it should look like. You should also expect scaling on your heater. You should also be cleaning your heater so that it heats up your water efficiently and that you don't waste electricity. Uh, these are some of the tips. Maybe I'll come up with a video talking about the different tips uh, to maintain your water heat and how to clean up all of the scaling. Maybe in another video. But until then, stay tuned to Product Talk. I will see you in another video. Until then, bye-bye.